Assalamu alaikum. I will explain how I custom the, these coffee tables for living room or bedrooms or for example guest rooms. Okay, let's go to the ground floor. And then we're gonna go to the design, select the object tool, and then click over here, and then you're gonna go from furniture, the basic library, and then special tool, special constructions, and then basic shapes. From there, there's different kind of shapes, but I will select on cylinder. And then here, I will depend on the dimension. I will go with 600. And then here, the length is going to be 200. I'm okay with that. I will change here the color to be visible with the widget fine black color. And the other, I will change this color to a marble pink stone. Okay, and then I will draw it here. But before that, I will go with construction grid split to make it more easier for me to put it at the at the center and then I will select uh, control plus shift plus D to make another one copy and then I will decrease this size to 300 Okay, and I will move it over here at the center. Okay, let's go to 3D. Okay. Okay, I will move this one down part, which is zero. Okay. And I will move this a little bit up. 200. Okay. Now it's good. I will change this color to golden. I will go with the lead oxide yellow. Okay. Now it's similar with this one, but I'm I'm I change the color to make it more different for you and click. Let's go with this second one, smaller one. Okay. The same procedures, but I will make copy. Control plus shift plus T. Okay. And the other part is about only changing the dimensions. I'll go to the ground floor. Okay. And here I will move to 100. Okay. And this one also will be uh, 200. And the smaller one, it will be 150. Okay. Let's see. Okay, but we will change the dimension of the lower part to 100, which is here, the cylinder length. So here I will go 100. And this one also I will change it to 300. Okay, and decrease from here to lower part. Okay, here we go. We have two similar in different dimensions and you can put this one in bedroom rooms and this one in the living room in different way dimension. Okay, let's go with the another part. So the first thing I will go to the design and then start slab two. And it depends the dimension I wanted, but also the color. I'll go with a uh, white one okay, for the lower area and then I'll go with 50 okay and then I'll start designing here I will go with 400 and then 400 and okay. and then 600 and then 400 again okay and then close it so to see it more like at the center and everything i will go to the document line tools to make it more easier for me to draw okay 
okay let's go to trigger so now we have here 100 I will move it to upward it's more easier for me and then I will draw another one control plus shift plus T around like 100 and here also 100 and then I will control plus D to move it to the, the same place and then I will increase the size also 100 and the other one also 100 the other part the same way no I mean 50 okay and this one also 50 here also 50 here also 50 so let's go so I can see it and I will increase the size to 50 upward and here it will be 200 okay and I will change this color to maybe I will go with okay let me go with black now I will go with the creamy one creamy marble okay and then the same way for the upper part I will go copy okay and I will increase the size to 15 and here will be 200 I think yeah and then I will move 50 over here and 50 over here and then control plus D move it over here the same way 50 and then 50 and here I will move 25 25 and the same thing also here 25 25 let's go to 3d okay as we see it i will change this color to a lead oxide yellow and the same way for this one copy paste up and I will increase it to 300 okay. and decrease this one to 50 here we go so I will check the digit parts to be like this sharp so I will move it to this one we'll go with 100, 110 then apply for all same thing for this one also apply for all corners let's go and check it's more much better left with this one back okay. here we go I can change the edge first for every wall. Like I can see green now. Yeah? So I will go here and then I will change the cut lines to black. Oh, sorry. Go here again. There's here and this one also. There we go. It is more easier. I'll put the lines. So I will go with design select the wall tool and i will go with one 10 I mean. and then put it here control plus d and then change it to here also 10 and i will move it to the center And then copy going to here for around 70 and 
Um, so this one could be this tier 17. Okay. Here we go. I'll change this kind of color to to lead oxide yellow. Okay, and then I'll change work with the fillings, which is here. Stretch the height and the top of part also. Now a little bit I need to move it on. Okay. Let's go to the ground floor. And then select on mirror, control plus shift plus M. Here we go. Similar to others. And the extra things is gonna be go to the decorations. And this is all about how to custom. And you can also actually select this all object to make it as an object um, item to use at any time. For example, going to the file and then lever is an object save it as an object for example and then you can write here coffee table and okay and it will show you, give you the surface color so you can change it anytime you want and then i'll select okay and if i want it here in object tools i will go here and I will find it ready for me. So, and also here I can change the colors, the background I want it based on, for example, if I want stone, it to be stone and appears here. And here we go. It is simple. And if you have any questions, you can comment below. And if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and thank you for watching.